Hello again and welcome back to our course on Windows 8. In this section we're going to look at starting and ending a session on a device using Windows 8. And The first thing I'm going to do is to look at the lock screen. We looked at personalizing the lock screen earlier on. Now we're going to look at using the lock screen to gain access to a device and start a session. Now once you've gone through the initial setup of your device, as I mentioned earlier, whenever you start it or resume it from sleep, for example, you'll see the lock screen. And to start the session, you need to basically get past the lock screen. Now also, as I mentioned earlier, it's possible to disable the lock screen, but I'm not going to cover that here. So for the purposes of this course, I'm going to assume that every time you start up the device, you see the lock screen. Now what you see on the lock screen will depend on a number of things. We talked about personalization earlier on. You may see different apps. You may see status of those apps such as the weather or possibly the number of outstanding emails in your email inbox. And you may also see settings such as whether your laptop is plugged into the main power supply the state of your device's battery and things like whether you have a network or wireless access available. So exactly what's on this screen will very much depend on your local situation. But the screen is there and what we need to do now is to deal with how to start a session. Now there could be a complication here and that is that you may see on your lock screen control alt delete. If you're not an experienced Windows operating system user or you've only used home versions of Windows before, this may be a bit of a mystery to you. It really harks back a long way really to much earlier versions of Windows, but it certainly continued through and into Windows 7. And this really was the original mechanism really for locking a screen. It meant that you put something up on the screen where you have to press this quite unnatural sequence of keystrokes control alt and delete all together and that would give you access to a login screen now depending on how your Windows 8 device got to where it is now and in particular if for example you've upgraded an installation of Windows 7 professional say to Windows 8 professional you may also still have control alt delete functionality as well as this lock screen now if you do, it pretty much works the same way that it did in those earlier versions of Windows. You basically press Control Alt Delete and that gives you access to the login screen. You can then log in as normal and get into Windows 8 and start your session. If you don't want Control Alt Delete, there is a way of disabling that as well and I'm going to come back to that quite a bit later in the course to show you how to disable that. If you want to disable it before I come back to it there are instructions on how to do it available on the internet if you just search on Windows 8 Control Alt Delete you'll find them. The majority of you probably won't see Control Alt Delete on the lock screen probably have no idea what I'm talking about and the next set of instructions are for you. So you can see the lock screen and it doesn't have Control Alt Delete written on it or more precisely press Control Alt Delete to log on. If you're using a traditional desktop computer then all you have to do is tap any key on the keyboard or click with the mouse anywhere on the screen and then you'll get to the logon screen where you can type in your logon name and your password. If you're using a traditional laptop computer, pretty much the same applies. If you've got a trackpad, you can hold down the left trackpad button, moving the cursor upwards, or similar kind of movement. Or again, tap any key on the keyboard, click with the mouse, and you're on the screen. Then you'll get through to the logon screen. If you've got a touch compatible computer or tablet, just place your finger anywhere near the middle or bottom of the screen and flick upwards. Again, you'll then be invited to enter your logon name and your password. Now I should point out when we talk about logon names and passwords there are a number of possibilities that we're going to talk about later and it is possible that you can set up your device that you don't need a logon name or password. I'm assuming here that in the majority of cases there will be something like that in place. Now once you get past the lock screen 
there are a number of possibilities in terms of what you're going to see on the next screen which is this screen the one you use to log on or unlock the device whether you're logging on so you've just perhaps started the device up or somebody else has been using the device and now you're going to be using it or whether you're just unlocking it either it's gone to sleep because you left it for a while or you deliberately locked it while you went for a coffee you've come back you may have to enter your username you may have to enter a password there is also a possibility here to switch to a different user I'll come back to most of those things later but whichever situation you're in you enter the username if necessary the password if necessary you click on this little button here and then provided you've entered all the information correctly you'll successfully get access to your device and start or continue your session so once you've logged in or unlocked your device you're ready to start or to continue your session this is where you'll start using the start screen and we're going to look at the start screen a little bit later on but you will get to the point when you want to end the session or at least suspend it so let's have a quick look now at how you end a session we've already seen one option and that is to lock the device to lock as we've already seen using a keyboard combination you can use Windows plus L but also the user tile that I showed you earlier gives us access to a lock command and that's a good thing to do if you just want to lock the device say while well, you're going for a cup of coffee or going for your lunch or something like that if you've really finished with the session you can sign out and that's the next option down here so when you sign out you basically end your session and when you've done that you're gonna to have to completely sign back in to start a new session so when you sign out apps will be closed work you're doing will be completed hopefully you'll think to do all that before you sign out although Windows 8 will warn you if you have work in progress but pretty much you're saying I've ended this session and next time I use this device I'm gonna start a completely new session this is the option you should choose if you're gonna be away from the machine for quite a long time another possibility is that after a period of not working on a session the device itself puts itself to sleep there is a setting that we will look at later on that says after what period of time the device will go to sleep when it has gone to sleep and you have to start it up again you'll have to go through the lock screen again and it's equivalent really to locking the device deliberately it's sort of like the device deciding to lock itself rather than to leave what you're working on open for prying eyes or for other people to perhaps accidentally make a mess of the other option is to completely shut down the device so you finished working on it nobody else is working on it you've completely finished it's time to close the device down and stop using it altogether so let's have a look at how we do that one way of shutting the machine down is to go to the settings charm and then on the settings charm you have a power button here click on power you can either say put the device to sleep restart the device or shut the device down don't forget although Windows 8 will warn you about apps that are open it's really better practice to very deliberately and purposefully shut down all of the apps that you're using making sure that you save any work in progress before you shut the device down I'm gonna shut this device down now when I do this section will be ended I'll see you in the next section